Manure washing is another technique to evaluate how well cows digest their feed. In manure washing, we can look at three different screens, the number 8, 16, and the cargo manure separator. We will typically use a cup of manure, or roughly 500 grams, depending on which screens you are using. We like to use pressurized water. Hot water works even better. And then you can look at different groups of cows, fresh cows, high cows, uh, or first lactation animals, depending which groups you want to monitor. To do a manure wash, we're going to go out and select eight or ten different uh, manure samples in that group of cows to uh, collect and taking a small aliquot from several different droppings out there. doesn't have to be droppings directly from the cow, and we go through and we just scoop them up and put them in a pail to be used later. Once we've collected our manure, we then mix that together to get kind of a composite sample that we can then use our various measures of particle size. In our first example, we are going to wash manure using the number eight screen, that is eight squares to the inch using a water source. And we're gonna wash that until we get all the fecal material rinsed out of it and we can look at what's on the screen. You can see on the screen we have evidence of corn, which is coming from the corn silage. We also have some more larger particle sizes here, a bit more fiber than I'd expect to see in a manure wash. A second way to evaluate manure washing is to use a finer screen. This would be a number 16 screen, or you can see this is a traditional kitchen spaghetti strainer, which has about 14 squares to the inch. By washing using this screen, you'll get a lot more finer particle sizes along with the coarse one there. Notice you have a little bit more size, so you can be a little more aggressive out in the washing program. Again, you can see that we have a lot of uh, much more fine material on this screen, but still evidence of the longer particle sizes and the corn as well. But you also now see some finer particle sizes of corn also that are left in the manure itself and were not digested completely. A third system to wash manure is to purchase the Cargill Manure Separator. As you can see, it has three different screens in it uh, and has three different sizes screen in the program. Again, we will place the manure in the top of the screen and then we fill the bucket with water and that allows us to literally wash the manure. You can see we wash it up and down and up and down, which uh, removes the fecal particles and then we have the three different layers. In this example, I've taken the third screen out because I have a problem that the water gets trapped in there and there's enough fine particle sizes that it forms a dam and therefore we end up having water filling the third compartment. So this is a two compartment screen that we're using here today. Once we wash it up and down, again, you can see the top screen. We have uh, much like we saw with the number eight screen, a much coarser particles here, evidence of corn and long particle sizes. Again, the next screen you can see is the equal to the number 14 or 16 screen, some of the finer particles we saw a bit earlier, and the third screen would be much finer as far as that goes. So what will the manure screening be used for? Well, we can look at some activities in the rumen, ask, asking, do the seeds actually have an opportunity to be digested? For example, we might see evidence of soybean seeds or partial soybean seeds, especially if they're roasted soybeans because they tend to be harder. Next, you might see evidence of fuzzy cotton seed. Notice on the right evidence of the black seed with all the nutrients inside the seed. All the cow got from this seed would be basically the fuzz. And then we're looking at fiber particles and corn grain itself. Are we seeing corn kernels or undigested kernels? Are we seeing pieces of corn, which mean it was not fermented in the rumen or lower digestive tract? And then evidence of long forage particles, simply meaning either the forage quality is poor or the cow didn't ruminate and break it down fine enough.